There's a lot of great 32 gigabyte images out there for your Raspberry Pi 3. And in this video, looking at all the ones I reviewed, I want to give you what I believe to be my top three 32 gigabyte Raspberry Pi 3 images. This is the VLC Remix console image. It's rocking a 4,132 games. It not only has, it's only consoles though. No MAME, no Neo Geo. However, it's got the video snaps. It's rocking RetroPie version 4.3. You have the uh, comic book theme on here. You also have Phil's Doodles Retrorama theme on here as well. We're gonna switch to it in just a second. As I mentioned with 4.3, you have custom collections. You can update it fairly easily. And uh, the game collections include a nice variety of Nintendo 64 and PlayStation. Usually those are limited on a 32 gigabyte image. So having those games is a nice addition. Uh, what happened is they picked the best games out of all the consoles. They just dump everything on there. And then they had the video snaps which take up quite a bit of space but make for a beautiful image as you see here. And they included a lot of the N64 games, as you see here. You get, you know, over 20, which um, is a nice addition because these 20 N64 games are awesome. So for those reasons, this is the runner-up in fourth place, VLC's Remix. All right, in number three, we have Level 1 Online's revised 32 gigabyte image. He made a version 1, and then a couple weeks later, he made a version 2. The theme's not too flashy, but you can change the theme fairly easily. I really like this theme because it's very basic. Um, this isn't running video snaps, so you do have a little bit of extra space. Um, the thing I like about it is that it's optimized. It uh, is totally set up out of the box as Cody. It also has a nice little PS1 collection in it. Um, it also has Nintendo DS. You don't see that very often. You still got your Neo Geo and your arcade games. You even have Dragon's Lair on Daphne installed. And uh, it has some space to spare because it's not using video snaps. The total amount of games is 5,556. It is running an older version of 4.2, like 4.218 or so. Um, but you can update it as well. Here you can see inside the menus, you know, it's just got the box art or the screenshots, a mixture of the two. It's got favorites, it's got collections, things like that. But it's a pretty squared away image and I like the collections. I like that it's optimized. So for those reasons, it gets number three. In number two, we've got Mad Little Pixel Swineapple Edition Image, 32 gigabyte custom theme built by Phil's Doodles himself. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. No video snaps, keep it nice and compact. It even had Star Fox 2 on it because that dropped around the same time. So you've got the entire Nintendo 64 collection on top of all the other consoles. It's rocking a total of 6,682 ROMs. All the arcade games have been gone through. A lot of times you have these big arcade dumps and half the games don't work or you don't want them or whatever the heck the case may be. On this image, they were all gone through. So that's always a nice thing. You still got your Neo Geo. It's rocking RetroPie version 4.3. So you got that to look forward to. You don't have to go from a 4.2 to 4.3, which could be kind of a pain sometimes. So that's all set up for you. And then, I mean, it's MLP. Got to gotta support the guy. Great guy. So uh, that wasn't why he won, by the way. But he. Uh, this is a well-done image, right? There was some work done into it. It's beautiful. It's ready to go. If you want to switch out to a different theme, you can switch it to um, uh, Outer Space Oddity. I was going to say Outer Space, Space Oddity, amongst other things. So it is fully customizable. It's a great starting image. Awesome, awesome stuff. The rating system is pineapples. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that.
In first place, we have Weird Dirty Gaming's version 1.2, Retro Pie version 4.3. I'm going to call this the all bells and whistles image. It pretty much has everything. It's rocking 9,700, 9,676, just shy of 10,000 games. It has pre installed scripts. It's coming with Pixel and Cody pre installed. You got some of the obscure systems. You got the hacked games. You got uh, MSX working. You've got the entire Nintendo 64 collection. You got Game & Watch. You got the SNES theme by Ruckage, as you're seeing here with the beautiful purples and backgrounds and the SNES classic look, rocking, as I mentioned, a newer version of Retro Pie. So it's kind of the do everything image that really does mimic the SNES classic. As you see here, you can see those scripts I was talking about. Easy to install, just click the button, and it's there. You don't have to go find it all. When you're actually playing the game, they, they're playing these nice, cool little bezels here. So it's a Super Nintendo. And there's also a lot of shaders that you can switch between. And there you have it. I mean, as I mentioned, I, this gets first because it's up to date. It has tons of games on it. It's ready to go. The only thing I couldn't see on here was it didn't have Sega CD or TurboGrafx CD on it. I mean, if you really want that stuff, you can add it. But I mean, every, all three Ataris, all the portables, all the consoles, arcade, Neo Geo, you name it, it's on there. New versions of everything, ready to go, easy to get to. That's why this is number one. Let me know what you guys thought. Do you think I should reorder it? Do you think I should have considered some? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.